a set or group of people who form a single community and whose members are interdependent. It may also refer to a group of persons who share a common interest, purpose, space, or geography over a period of time. Common interest, purpose, space, or geography over a period of time. For example, we have a Caribbean society, the makeup of social institutions and organizations in the Caribbean where we live. We have something like uh, chocolate society, people who love chocolate so much they decide to organize themselves to exchange and advance their interests. Sometimes we hear people refer to a high society. This signifies a group of elites in the society, their culture, social behavior and privilege, a specific upper class in a certain geography. So now, how do we apply this thinking? In the Caribbean, we have had varying theories about our society. We have Lloyd Brathwaite, his Creole Society thesis, where diverse groups mix and meet, transforming the space. We have R.T. Smith, his Plural Society thesis, where persons coexist, leading separate lives as an ethnic group, yet tolerating each other. Right. And we have George Beckford, Plantation Society, which highlights the economic division of people that has, based, has have been based on our colonial history. The neglect for the rural society. You also have the existence of colorism. The famous stratification we have in some and many, if not all, Caribbean territories. A triangle like this. We have white over brown, brown over black. And the thing we have to look at, is this relevant today? Indeed, in my opinion, the plantation is portable. The two, the two main frameworks for society are one, social institutions, two, social organizations. The intangible and tangible aspects of a society.